Welcome to Frankly Speaking. My name is Frank Clay, successful entrepreneur, author, speaker, and business coach. It is Black History Month. I like to refer to it as African American History Month, a time where we celebrate the achievements of African Americans in this country. Uh, from a business perspective, I like to always look at um, some of the greats to determine what I can learn from them as as far as business is concerned. And I can tell you that the individual I'm going to talk about right now inspired me to start my business, uh, which I had for 11 years. Uh, his name is Julius Groves, and his success took place right here in Kansas. Believe it or not, he started out as a slave in Kentucky. And when Abraham Lincoln freed the slaves, there was a movement to allow slaves to come to Kansas. He participated in that. He came here with only 40 cents. Talking about starting up a business from nothing, he did it. He went from 40 cents to be one of the greatest uh, millionaires in the country, in the world. He was that good. And what did he do? He did what he did best. He sold potatoes across the world. And he came here with 40 cents. He started out as a laborer, worked for another individual, was so good, he ended up negotiating a sharecropping arrangement. That means that he would work on part of the land, uh, the owner would work on the other part of the land. He produced more than the owner of the land, so much to the point that he was able to buy his own portion of the land. That's called leveraging. He leveraged his ability to do what nobody else could do, which was to produce at a higher rate. Great strategy for starting your business. Get started, do the best you can, outdo the competition, outdo your partners, and then get acknowledged for that. Tremendous. This is talk we're talking about in the late 1800s. Uh, Julius Groves was doing this. He reinvested his profits, end up getting his own land to the point he had hundreds of acres of land and was doing his own thing. In fact, he was producing so much, so many potatoes, they had to get a railroad uh, track brought into his uh, area so that they could distribute the potatoes across the world. He did potatoes, he did fruit, he did vegetables. He was just outstanding at what he did. In fact, he had a mansion with all the amenities of it back in the late 1800s. This was unbelievable time. Nobody talks about it. Google Julius Groves, and he's known as the Potato King. And for that, he should be given a lot of recognition. In fact, he was recognized by Booker T. Washington in his book. You can see that for yourself. When you think of African-American history, think about Julius Groves.